Now, with that said, we have had some revelations that I would like to share with you. And we are slightly altering the structure of the fellowship. Now, keep in mind, the leadership of the fellowship is and always will be the Council of Elders. Now, if you remember Section 50E in Doctrines of the Saints, we have the revelation of the Council of 50. And this is the revelation that I received that told us to actually organize the fellowship. And in it, it says... Speaking to Alan, it says, At the first, you will be called to the Council of Fifty within the Order of Ministry to help organize the Church of Jesus Christ and Christian Fellowship. And these roles you shall fill until all are called that you may focus fully on your role both in the offices of the priesthood and in the Order of the Ministry as a seventy in my name. Everyone that is called is really in the Council of Fifty because the Fellowship of Christ is so small. What is the Council of Fifty? A revelation was received through myself and my wife, Christine, and that is Section 50A in the Doctrines of the Saints. And it says, In the Church of Jesus Christ and Christian Fellowship, the First Presidency over the Church may call men and women of all walks of life from any of the churches of Christ upon the earth or any of those sympathetic to the Christian teachings and way of life. And these shall be called to unite the saints, to unite God's creation in all that has been revealed and all that will be revealed from the creation of the earth to the return of Christ our King. And this council shall exist as a part of the order of the ministry, consisting of 25 brothers and 25 sisters, and the first presidency shall be their presidency. And these shall be brothers and sisters, one to another, and to the world, working within the order of the ministry, under the direction of the first presidency, being sent forth to represent them and the God that called them unto all the world. And these shall endeavor to proclaim peace and unity in the face of adversity, to act as representatives of the living constitution of the kingdom of God, to be a force of peace and order in the, in the midst of chaos, to assist the works of the Lord and the saints, and those who would call themselves saints, move from creed of church to the kingdom of God, where all the desire shall find a home and a place to dwell and to find rest in their souls. And this council of 50 shall be organized to run and teach in the school of the prophets as organized by the first presidency of the church of Jesus Christ and Christian fellowship and to assist the presidency in all things they stand in need to help them fulfill their duties and callings. And when necessary, represent them in the judgment seat by letter of appointment, which letter may only be used of the case to which it shall be assigned, and any judgment rendered shall be taken to the First Presidency for approval or acquittal. Now, if you would like to read more about the Council of Fifty, the Doctrine of Saints is set up very simply. Anything about Apostles is in Section 12, anything about the Council of Fifty is in Section 50, and anything about the Seventy is in Section 70, and it will always be that way. So hopefully that will help people find what they need quickly. Currently, there are six revelations in, in section 50 on the Council of 50. So anyone that's been called to the ministry, I highly recommend that you read these because they do go over what the Council of 50 is and what our duties are. However, we also do, do call people as apostles and as 70 and as patriarchs and matriarchs and so on and so forth. So what does that mean? We received a revelation on the apostles that goes into a little bit about how this is going to work. And I'm not going to read the entire revelation. It is in section 12. It's actually section 12E. Verse 4 says, It is the duty of mine apostles to seek out other apostles that shall hear and heed my call. Twelve men and twelve women to represent me as special witnesses of the Lord Jesus Christ in my fellowship. And until six men and six women are found, all of my apostles shall remain as part of the Council of Fifties to support the First Presidency. And it goes into more detail about what they are supposed to do. But for now, what's important is that we understand that until we find 12 apostles, six righteous men and six righteous women, these apostles will be a part of the Council of Fifty. The Council of Seventy has been dissolved by the 
Council of Elders due to inactivity and lack of ability to train them at this point because we are too few in numbers. The 70s are a rather large group of individuals and we prayerfully came to the decision that until we get to school the prophets where it needs to be and we're able to train people properly we will alan who is on the council of elders is still a 70 but we don't officially have any quorum of 70 in any way shape or form and we're not organizing that until they go through the the, the proper um, education that they need so they understand their duties and are able to commit to doing them. Section 70 of Doctrine of the Saints explains, and I'm not going to read this to you, that there are two councils or quorums of the 70. The first is literally 70 elders, as mentioned in the book of the Law of the Lord, given to us by James Strang. And these work directly for the 12 apostles. There's only 12 apostles, so that's not very many people. And so therefore, they are able to, once they are organized, call 70 brothers and sisters and ordain them as elders, regardless if they're an elder or a high priest. And these people, these brothers and sisters will help serve the needs of the Council of Twelve, the Quorum of the Seventy, which is a separate organization that, like the First Presidency, is equal to the Quorum of Twelve in authority. So at this time, I know that was a lot, I apologize. We are organizing the First Presidency of the Church of Jesus Christ and Christian Fellowship. At this time, we will be pulling the First Presidency of the Church of Jesus Christ and Christian Fellowship out of the Council of Fifty to form its own separate body and organization. Before we do so, please understand that in the Fellowship of Christ, the First Presidency does not function in the same way that it does in many Latter-day Saint denominations that have a First Presidency. There is no president, one single person that is above everyone else with counselors. In Doctrines of the Saints 7b, verse 6, which is page 873 A for Community of Christ and 96, I'm sorry, 96 for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, the Brighamites. The Lord said to Joseph Smith, And again, verily I say unto thy brethren, Sidney Rigdon and Frederick G. Williams, their sins are forgiven them also, and they are accounted as equal with thee in holding the keys of this last kingdom. The members of the First Presidency that we are presenting to you are myself as co-president, Christine Ferriman as co-president, and Ruth Malden as co-president. All three of us equal in keys and authority as given to us by Christ. As to the Council of Elders, now, there are those who are asking, who is Ruth Malden? Those familiar with our movement are aware of myself and Christine. Full transparency, Ruth Malden is not her real name. She does still belong to another Latter-day Saint denomination. And just as Joseph Smith and others in the original Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints used uh, aliases, to identify themselves for their protection, she has chosen to do the same. But she has been very active in our cause for nearly a year now as a member of the First Presidency. Now, as to the actual Council of Elders that oversees the Church of Jesus Christ and Christian Fellowship, as co-presidents, myself, David Farriman, and Christine Farriman of the First Presidency, and then as members of the Council, Apostles, 
Alexei Manovich and Victoria Ramirez and Acting 70, Alan Brodus and Friend of the Fellowship, Matriarch Annie Rose and also Friend of the Fellowship, Tilly. On the Council of 50, we are reorganizing the Council of 50 at this time. And so the only member of the Council of 50 that I will mention for vote this year is Faye Ellen Ellie, who is also an apostle. We will be reorganizing the Council of 50 as we move forward. Beyond this, we do ask that at this time, you hold councils in your synagogues, congregations, or individual units and vote to sustain or replace the leadership the Lord has moved you to call. Being a non-denominational movement, we are not organized like many other movements. And so we do not tell people how, when, where to worship or who to call. The Book of Mormon was given to us in the spirit of prophecy and revelation, and that is the everlasting gospel that was returned to the earth by the angel Moroni. And therefore, as a people, we invite you to use that spirit of prophecy and revelation and report back to us what the Lord has instructed you to do. Please send all votes to info at cjccf.org. And we will be closing the voting at the end of April. So April 30th will be the last day that we will be able to accept votes, yay or nay.